First of all, no such thing as permanent. No such thing as permanent. Tragically, the Jewish state is not permanent. We live in a world in which, as my colleague Dan Palisar at the Shalem Center says very often and very eloquently, uh, that in 50 years you could imagine, what it will be in 2012, in, in 2062, you could imagine an Israel which is really at the very, very, very forefront of medical technology, of education and the humanities and the arts and everything that Israel is now, only much, much better, and hopefully with some of the problems that we are both concerned about having been resolved. You can also imagine a world 50 years from now in which Israel does not exist. You can imagine that. And you don't have to throw Iran into the equation. You don't have a big bad bomb. You can just imagine a world that actually listens to the kinds of arguments made in uh, the crisis of Zionism, that becomes convinced that the only way to force Israel to move out is to turn the screws more and more and more on Israel. The economy begins to sputter. The economy begins to falter. Young people feel this is not a place to make a life. Israel's most mobile, therefore most educated, most talented people begin to decide to move elsewhere. The country simply begins to crumble. You can see a world in which with an increasingly hostile environment towards Israel, other airlines say, we are not flying to Israel. And other governments say, your airline may not land in our country. That's it. That's the end.